Something's wrong in this house, the mouse said. I can hear it. There's no noises at all. There's no Christmas spirit. There's nobody laughing. There's nobody singing. No carolers caroling. No jingle bells ringing. The family inside are all quiet and strange. The mouse wondered, what could have caused such a change? I know what to do. I'll bring them together. I'll make up a plan. I'll be very clever. I'll think really hard tonight. Outside while it's snowing, I'll get them all going without even knowing. They'll make cookies and cards and raise a big tree. Wrap presents and candy canes tall as your knee. And as they all sit before their Christmas dinner, each person among them will think they are the winner. And that is how the mouse started his adventure last year. Karen all right. Now, if you enjoyed last year's book, The Mouse Who Missed His Christmas List, you're going to enjoy Sarah's new holiday book even more. Yay! It's called The Mouse in the House for Christmas. And you can get it starting tomorrow at this bookstore. Hey, <laughs> don't forget, Sarah's new book. Every child will want one. <laughs> Don't you think you're overselling it just a little bit? Nonsense. Kids today have the attention span of a housefly. You say so. I do. Now, you really have your finger on the pulse of Christmas. Do you write from experience? If you like the book, said, don't ask. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh. Hello. Hi, honey. Hey, Dad. What's up? Sarah, it's your grandmother. She was leaving her condo. Walking down the stairs with some friends when she became lightheaded. She fell and sprained her ankle pretty good. They're taking her to the hospital right now and... Well, I figured maybe... You could break away, come home a few days early. Dad, my new book is coming out. I've, I have appearances to make. The EMTs think there might be some kind of heart condition. As it is... Your grandmother can't go back to the condo, so she'll be staying with us at the house. Dad, you know Mom and I are just going to argue and ruin things for everybody. Please, just do this for me and your grandmother. She really needs you. Everybody. All right. Lift up and swing you around. There you go. Watch Mother's head, Tim. <laughs> Just leave him alone, Michelle. He's Just fine. Tim, comfortable? thank you. Yeah. All right. Mr. and Mrs. Edwin, yeah, here's the deal. Evelyn will need to stay on bed rest for several days at least. She can use her walker to go back and forth to the bathroom, but that's going to be about it. It's very possible she could be suffering from orthostatic hypotension. That causes a dangerous drop in the blood pressure when someone arises too quickly. And the blood flow gets restricted to the brain, so let's play this safe. Okay. Thank you. Hey, kiddo. <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> of course. Sarah. Better late than never, I guess. You're welcome. Oh, Sarah, you made it. Morning, Graham. How you feeling? Better now that you're here. Ah, oh, well, that's good. Hey, you about ready to roll? I've been ready. Let's get. Sarah, when you're finished, we need to get Mother home. You must be very tired by now. I'm done, Mom. Thanks. I'm sorry. Nothing changes. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Tim.
Tim. I'm coming. Are you all right, Mother? I'm fine. Let's hit the gas. Oh, I can't tell you what it means to have you here for Christmas. Oh, it means a lot to me, too, Gran. And thank you for the lovely books, darling. That was nothing. Besides, I thought there might be a few you didn't have. Oh, I had so many plans for the holidays, and now all ruined. Mm, Gran, I'm sorry. Were they big plans? Well, not so big, but uh, I, I did put them all down on the list. Wow. Look how organized you are. A perfect Christmas list, huh? I probably wasn't going to do all of them, but I did want to make my special Christmas cookies. Maybe you and your mom can bake them. Duh, no, <laughs> I, I don't think so, Gran. Oh, why not? Oh, come on. Why don't you make an old lady happy? I may not be around here forever, you know. Shh, Gran, I don't want to hear you talk like that. Besides, I just rubbed Mom the wrong way. She's so perfect, and I'm so not. And she must remind me of that every five minutes. Sarah, your mother is not perfect. She's just pretending. That's her way. I know, Gran, I get it. But trying to get the two of us together to do something is like pouring gasoline on a fire. No, oh, you, you keep it, dear. Maybe you'll change your mind. Don't get your hopes up. What a terrible thing to have happen, right at the holidays. Yeah, well, maybe it'll convince Evie to sell that condo. Move into someplace a little more suited for her. She might have to. She shouldn't be left alone. Remember that kitchen fire she started at Halloween? She can't even remember to turn the stovetop off. Yeah, well, she's forgetful, but independent. Very independent. Controlling, dear. She's controlling. Don't worry, guys. I got it. Uh, hello. Can I help you? Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I'm Dr. Reed. I'm here to see Evelyn. My name. Thank you. Over here. Mom, we have a visitor. Sarah, who is it? Graham's doctor. Seriously? A doctor making house calls? <laughs> There's still a few of us left. Dr. Reed. Kim. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, her room is right this way. Great. Thank you. Mom, you have a visitor. It's your doctor. Hello, Evie. Well, uh, I'll leave you two. Okay, thank you. God. So, I heard you took quite a spill. What happened? I don't even know. One minute I'm up and the next I'm down. Ah, man, you gotta be careful. Well, the hospital sent your chart over to me and it looks like there might be something going on with your blood pressure. So, we're gonna have to take it easy until we figure out what's going on. Do you mind if we check it now? Can I stop you? Not a chance. You're such a bully. Yeah. Just because I care. How's the ankle? Does it hurt? No, it doesn't. And I don't have orthostatic hypotension. We hope. So, do we think maybe that big move is in order? Ah, uh, yes. I've been thinking about it now for a while. This settles it. I gotta get out of that condo. No more stairs for me. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I know. But I just needed a reason. Well, it looks like you finally got one. So have you told your family yet? No, not yet. I, I've been turning that off. I understand. But you're going to have to tell them sooner or later. You're going to want them close by when it's time to go. Do you want me to talk to them? Oh, no. No, no, no. I'll tell them. I mean, they're going to all have to work very closely together to clean out my condo when this time comes. Well, 
It won't be for at least a week or so. We know that much for sure. Tim! Tim! What is it, Michelle? Mom is dying. What? Mom is dying. Says who? Her doctor. I heard them talking about her illness. <laughs> it's fatal. Honey, uh, they usually can treat these kind of things. All she needs is some rest and, and maybe no sudden movement. She'll be fine. I heard what I heard when I heard it. Well, her doctor did make a house call. Why would he do that? You don't think... Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I have to run some errands. Your blood pressure is in the normal range, which is very good news. You just have to make sure you keep resting and keep that foot up. You just like bossing people around, don't you? Doctor's orders. Bye, Evie. You guys all right? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Allergies, that's all. Allergies. Right. Well, I've got to run. It was nice meeting you folks. Doctor! Isn't there anything you want to tell us? Um, nothing you don't already know. I'm just glad that she's surrounded by her family during this difficult time. Uh. <clears throat> Isn't there anything we can do? Just try to keep her spirits up. Make sure that the next week's a happy one. I will. I will. I promise. That's good. Bye. Poor mother. She is so brave. Keeping that secret inside and everything? We must respect her wishes. Of course. I mean, she can't know that we know. I won't let on. And don't tell Sarah. Sarah? Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure, Tim. I'm the daughter. It's only right that I know. She's the granddaughter. Oh, just trust me. Mom, are you awake? Yeah, yes, dear. <coughs> yes. Well, we were just wondering if there's anything we could do for you. You know, anything at all. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Why? We, we just want you to be comfortable. Is, is the bed soft enough, uh, hard enough? Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Are you sure we can't get you something to eat or drink? Uh, some iced tea? Really, please, anything we can do for you, anything at all. Anything? Well, I was just thinking about the great Christmases we had in Vermont when you were young. Yes, I remember. Snow a foot deep. Oh, perfect for sledding. Perfect. Oh, I would give anything if you and Sarah could experience a perfect Christmas like that. You know, truth be told, we may not all be together again like this next year. Mom, don't say that. Well, you never know what's around the corner, Michelle. So I've put together a wish list of Christmas activities for you and Sarah to do together. A wish list. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? That, that does sound like fun. Okay, if that would make you happy. Oh, so happy, so happy, dear. Sarah has the list. Okay, doesn't that sound great, Tim? That's nice. What's the first activity? Baking the perfect Christmas cookies. Baking. Baking. Knock, knock. Who's there? Do you have a minute? Do you have a minute who? Aha, uh -huh. very funny. Are you trying something for one of your little book things? Yes, Mom. One of my little book things. Is there 
something I can do for you? Yes, yes, there is. I was just chatting with Mom, and she had this great idea. And she told you about the perfect Christmas list. She did. You can't be serious. I am. She's very ill, you know. This could be our last Christmas together. It really could. So, do you want to do the list with me? Are you asking me? Yes, I'm asking. Please. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Good. So the first challenge on Grandma's list is to make Christmas cookies. But don't worry, I've got us covered. This ought to do the trick. What is that? It's a cookie gun. You just shoot the dough out of that nozzle doodle thing, and it makes perfect cookies every time. Mom, that is horrible. Why? Do you have any idea how many preservatives are in this stuff? If you shot it in the ground, it'd last another 80 years. Sarah, don't be silly. It's Christmas. Cookie guns are flying off the shelves. Well, these cookies have to be homemade. So I'm going to the store and getting the proper ingredients. All right, all right. I was only trying to make things easy for you. <sighs> Mom, if we're going to do Grand's perfect Christmas list, we might as well do it right. <sighs> Michelle, why do you have to argue with her? <laughs> I thought you were going to behave yourself while she was here. I was. I was going to. But, but she arrived a few days early. I wasn't ready. It uh, works in one of my recipes. Do you know how much sugar is in that lemonade? <sighs> Probably too much. I mean, there's like no juice at all. I hear you, but um, it goes a long way. I'm, I'm sorry. I should just mind my own business. I mean, you are the doctor, right? Yes, I am. But you're right about the lemonade. So, you're after some butter? Yes, we're baking cookies from scratch. Okay. Well, then I think you will probably want something special like this. It's, uh, it's from a local farm, all natural ingredients. I do a little work for them sometimes. I thought you only treated people. <laughs> uh, I do, uh, but I am also a handyman. Brandon. Huh. Odd jobs done evenly. <laughs> you weren't kidding. I've always wanted to just fit in wherever I could, so I look in on the elderly, lower income families, pretty much anyone who needs a little help. They pay me what they can, when they can, if they can. Well, that's very generous of you. Uh, it's nothing. A lot of people helped me out when I needed it, so I'm just trying to uh, pay it back a little. Fair enough. Of course. Well, thank you for the tip on the butter. Organic. I guess you do know the good stuff when you see it. I'd like to think so. 
So, you are Evie's granddaughter, the writer. That's right. We all feel pretty bad she's stuck in bed. Hence, the homemade cookies. Mm, that should do it. Never known cookies to fail. <laughs> all right. Cane sugar. Baking flour. Raisins. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, beats me. When it comes to baking, I'm a total shortcut kind of guy. Ooh, but I can't always use some of these. So what's up with all the hot dogs? Oh, I'm uh, cooking for a lot of people. I can see that. Hot dogs? I mean, there's nothing... Okay, you could at least spring for the all-natural, all-beef kind. You are right. It will kill my budget, but I will put these back just for you. Don't be feeding those hot dogs to my grandma now. In your grandmother's situation, I would say any meal that suits her is just fine by her doctor. But, um... No, these are, are not for my patients. Oh. I think I get it. You're also some kind of little league coach, right? Yeah, sort of. Mm-hmm. Well, I should get going. Can't keep the chef waiting. Your boyfriend's a chef? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's my mother. Well, Merry Christmas. And, um, good luck with your cookies. Merry Christmas to you, too. And your kids. Looking good. Of course. The calculator never lies. I didn't realize how essential algebra was to oatmeal cookies. Imagine what you could have baked if you'd gone to Harvard. measuring spoons. What do you need? Half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, no problem. My grandmother never used measuring spoons. She would just pour stuff into the small of her hand and it came out perfect every time. Mom, that's ridiculous. Found him. Told you. I don't believe it. Perfect. I'm glad you liked it. I brought you a treat. <laughs> Michelle, the smell of freshly baked cookies filled the house all afternoon. Oh, I I'm sorry. No, don't be. I thought I died and went to heaven. Mom, please don't say things like that. Well, it's just what the doctor ordered. Did you have any fun? Sure I did. It reminded me of some things I'd forgotten, so... Yeah, it was great. And now we have something tasty to remember the day. <laughs> Hey, Pops. You want to try one? Hey, thank you. Mm. Well? Very good. Glad you like them. Ugh. Well, I learned a few things today. Yeah, me too. Thanks for coming home. I didn't want to. You begged me, remember? Well, you're a big girl now, Sarah. Well. You ain't got a lot of important decisions to make in your life, but I think you made the right one this time. Well, I did it for you and Graham. But sometimes... 
Sometimes I wonder. About what? I was in the market earlier today. I saw Grand's doctor. Oh? He seemed so sharp at first, but his entire cart was full of junk food. I mean, fake lemonade, fruit punch, more packs of cheap hot dogs than I could count. And a giant block of bacon-flavored butter. <laughs> what do you do with that? That's what I thought. But there's nothing with any nutritional value whatsoever in his entire cart. And did you feel compelled to tell him all about that? Well, of course. <laughs> do you do that a lot when you go to the market? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? Ah. Don't judge a man until you've walked a mile in his bacon-flavored shoes. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, I need a drink. <laughs> oh, we wish you a merry Ever since I came home, my mom's been acting weird. Not exactly nice or anything, just weird. And you think she's up to something, or? I don't know. As rude as she is, she's actually been on her best behavior. Maybe she finally realized she's wrong. Please. You don't walk away from a literary scholarship at Harvard to write and draw children's books. Mm. Might as well have just stabbed her right in the eye. Why does she care as long as you're happy? Happy and successful? Why indeed? I don't know. I guess it's just because it wasn't her plan. It's not what she had planned for me. Some parents want you to be everything that they never were. And you're an only child, aren't you? That's right. Her one shot at glory, and I let her down. Not this kid. Lived up to all my parents' expectations. <laughs> oh, Ashley, do you want me to buy you a drink? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> oh, but I think what sets her off the most is the fact, as soon as I left home, she lost all control of me. She just can't stand it. Well, take this week to get to know your grandma. I'll be a better person for it. And if not that, you could work on your next book. The Mouse That Bombed Its Mom. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> you better watch out, because I'm going to steal that from you. Take it. It's my Christmas gift to you. Mwah. Would you like a cinnamon roll? I thought I smelled something. I only heated them up. I'll take two. Don't get spoiled. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> there you go. I know. <laughs> Dad, you gonna eat both of those? Yes, I am. Would you like a cinnamon roll, Sarah? Enriched flour. I said. Sarah. Hmm? Did you sleep well? I did. I'm going to bring a cinnamon roll to Gran with her coffee. Excellent idea. How you feeling? Oh, glued to this bed. Life's tough at the bottom. Mom made hot cinnamon rolls. Your mother? I've never known her to make breakfast. You didn't wait. Well, looks okay to me. Well, Dad's had two already, and he's still kicking. It's a Christmas miracle. Ready for number two on my list? Yeah. I 
I think it's straight already, Mom. How many times do you have to do that? It only looks straight to someone like you. It's not perfectly straight. And it never will be. There's your problem, Sarah. You never see what's wrong with the world. And you can never see what's right with it. Well, you are going to love the next activity on Grand's perfect Christmas list. What is it? Number two. Grand thinks it's high time we have a real Christmas tree. A perfect Christmas tree. A real tree? But you and your father put up the artificial tree every Christmas Eve. Mom, if we don't have a real tree, it's going to kill her. No, 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 no. We'll get, we'll get a real tree. We will get a real tree. Uh, and a dustbuster. But we'll, we'll, we, we will get a tree. Okay. Mom. Easy. Oh, and we also have to cut it down ourselves. We'll cut it down ourselves? Cut it down? Are you sure? Oh, let's ask. Mom? Mom? We'll get the tree? We'll get the tree! I'll never forgive myself! <laughs> ah! oh, Michelle, what are you doing? You're not dead. Not yet. I'm sorry. Have you lost your mind? I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Sorry. Go back to sleep, Mom. Go back to sleep. It's, it's all okay. Well, that was exciting. We're going to get right on that tree thing now. I'm sorry, there just aren't any live Christmas tree farms within 150 miles of here. I guess there's just no market for it anymore. Just have to tell her it can't be done. No! I mean, I don't want to disappoint my mother. This list business means so much to her. We're just going to have to think outside the box, where there's a way, there's a will. Or something like that. Mom, it's not the end of the world. Mom? There. Really? You're not suggesting that we... I am. <laughs> Honey, that tree's 20 feet tall. We only need 8 feet of it. That's crazy. My mother wants a cut tree. And that is what she is going to get. Come visit me in prison. Hi, Dr. Reed. Brandon. This is Sarah, Evelyn's granddaughter. Yeah. That, that's me, that one. Um, I have a question. You wouldn't happen to have a small chainsaw that a girl would be able to borrow for the evening, would you? You do? Great, uh... Oh, no, nothing special. Just a little sawing is all. Sure, around five? You know where I live. Okay. Present. Come in. Thank you. So, uh, do you even know how to use one of these? I mean, it's it's not a toy. I used to cut my own firewood. I'll have you know. A regular lumberjack. I should have known. I guess just give me a call when you're done with it. I got it, Doc. Yeah, thank you. By the way. So how's your grandmother doing? Oh, she's sleeping. That's perfect. That's what I hear. <laughs> okay, well, good night. Good night. Oh. 
He seemed like a very nice young man. And a doctor, too. He seemed too good to be true. Mom, please. What? I'm allowed to have an opinion. Really? I hadn't noticed. Stop, you two. Please. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't we have some cutting to do? Right. Wow, that's a big tree. It's a perfect tree. Okay. Strike one. Right, one more, one more. Not bad. It's all yours now. Stand back. the things you two have been up to these past few days. I can't believe it either. Something's gotten into Mom. She's changed some. Yeah, she has. Dad, is something wrong? No. No. I think she just wants to make Christmas the best she can. For everyone. For her mother's sake. Why? She's never cared before. Well, you might ask yourself the same question. Me? Please, Dad, Mom and I are nothing alike. Are you so sure? Yes, I am. Then where have you been the past few Christmases? Dad, you know why I don't come around. And what about your grandmother? Why can't you come around her place? Oh, that is some kind of tree. <laughs> sure is. Just a little off the top, huh? Mm-hmm. Come on, you two. Breakfast is on. Dad, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. You know I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on Gran. Gran? Gran? Don't get excited. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ugh, oh, Gran, you're supposed to call for someone if you need help. Exactly, but I didn't need any help, so I didn't call for any. Fair enough. How's the ankle, Gran? Oh, it's fine, darling. Thank you. Oh, Tim tells me that you got the tree. Yes, and it's a beauty. Can't wait for you to see it. But before that, we have Make the Perfect Christmas Cards. Do you want to go on, dear? You really don't have to. So far, so fun. Besides, this doesn't look too difficult. But you have to use an old photograph from a past Christmas on each card. Gren, do you remember the name of the Christmas book I wrote last year? I know. I know. I forgot. But I loved it. Uh-huh. It was called The Mouse Who Missed His Christmas List. Oh, that's right, yeah. It's about a mouse who moves into a house where everyone is divided. But he brings the family together again by convincing them to perform a special list of holiday activities. Oh, that is such a lovely story. You'll find all the old photographs out in a box in the garage.
don't like sacrificing my old photographs to make Christmas cards. Well, um, what's the problem? Well, you have to cut them up. It's going to destroy them. Mom, they were just rotting away in the box in the garage. Sarah, they weren't rotting away. They were being preserved. All right. We won't cut them. We'll just tape them lightly to the outside of the card. Okay. Hey, look who it is. Hey, Gran. Mom, are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? I'm just going to sit here and watch. What good is a perfect Christmas if you can't even experience a little bit of it firsthand? Mom. All right. We're happy that you're here. Oh, look at the tree. So beautiful. I'm glad you like it. I'm sorry that I tried to suffocate you yesterday. It's okay. You just scared me a little bit there. Hey, take a look at that. Oh, I wanted that bike so badly. I think I took it to bed one or two times. <laughs> oh, look at that hair. I look like a squirrel. <laughs> I, I never approved of that bike. I thought it was far too dangerous for such a young girl. But your father had to prevail. Uh, don't let her fool you. She allowed me to prevail. Oh, well, it was a pretty bike. Well, someone is getting this on their card. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's a picture of your mother in high school. Yeah, they used to call her Shell. She was so serious. Even then, you know, she wore collars that were so stiff and sharp they would cut her neck like a razor. I still have the scars. Oh, stop it, you two. Give me that. Give me that right now. <laughs> oh, uh, look at this. Oh, my. Look at this handsome fella. Oh. <laughs> what is that? One of those hippies or gypsy or something? Excuse me. The man in the snapshot is your mother's father. Your grandfather. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, so the, the portrait in the living room, the soldier in the uniform? It's the same man, Sarah. All clean up. That was after he was drafted into the army. But here is the real man that I married. Oh, he was so sweet. <sighs> He just didn't know how to keep his head down with all those bullets flying around. You remind your mother of him more than you'll ever know. How? I mean, how? Well, he'd love to draw and make up silly stories just like you do. Really? Oh, he never took anything very seriously. Some people think that's what got him killed. Uh. It's your Christmas ring. Yes. It's time to put it on. It's really pretty. It's the last thing my father gave me. I remember how excited I was when I opened it on Christmas morning. It looks new. Yes, well, I only put it on once a year. Dad always said it would bring the wearer much happiness. Mm. Did it? No. But it's very pretty, isn't it? really is. Sarah, the man in that snapshot, that was your grandfather. That was the man my mom married. I should never have put him in a box.
you skating? What? You look like you're getting ready to hit the rink. Oh, no, I, I don't skate. So says the girl holding a pair of skates. Oh, no, these, these old things. No, they're, they're useless. Useless? May I? If you want. I don't think they'll fit you. Well, you should try it sometime. I could teach you. You don't say. I got your message. Did uh, everything work all right with the uh, cutting of your own firewood and such? It did. Thank you. Not a problem. Are you doing anything tonight? Because I would, I would love to show you around the ice. If I even were to promise that you wouldn't fall and break anything. <laughs> Well, if I did, you'd be right there to patch me back up? Right. So what do you say? Definitely. Great. Maybe. Then it's a date. Mm-hmm. Mom, I brought you some tea. Oh. Here you go. Oh. Thank you, dear. Ah, the home-baked cookies. Oh, I'm going to get fat if you keep this up. Oh, it's the holidays. You're not supposed to think about things like that. Oh, I guess you're right. But uh, I am the one that forced you to bake them in the first place. But what do I care? Nobody forced anybody to do anything. And I'd do it again in a heartbeat. You would? Absolutely. Why? What do you mean, Why? Why are you acting so different all of a sudden? Sarah! No, Gran, I have to ask. Well, I guess I just realized how suddenly things can change. I think we should make the most of the time we have together while we have it. Okay? Sarah, your mother is working so hard to make this a perfect Christmas. Aren't you having a good time? Well, of course. That's what worries me. Oh, Sarah. All right, Mother. What's next on your list? This should be interesting. Next up we have, drum roll, ice skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Oh, nothing says California Christmas like the inside of an ice rink. Must be 36 degrees in here. 32. Oh, she knows I can't skate. I don't know what she expects me to do. What are you afraid of? You're a fast learner. Easy for you to say. You can skate. <laughs> that was a long time ago, remember? I put that all behind me. You didn't have to. You had talent. You could have been great. Yeah, and I could have also baked cookies at Harvard. If only they had a cooking class. You know, sometimes I think you gave up on these things just because I wanted them for you. Really? You just thought about that right now? Right now. Come on, let's go put our skates on. Look at those kids go. They make it look so easy. I like they don't have a care in the world. Like nothing else matters. It's just you, cold, ice. Did you say something? Huh? No. Oh, hey, look. There you are. Good evening, Mrs. Edwin. Right on time. Try to be. Oh, I get it. This whole thing was set up in advance. Well, a refresher course wouldn't hurt. Shall we? Oh, no, no, no. You, you, you two go ahead. I, I, I'll wait right here. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine right here. Besides, I, I'd like to see Sarah skate again. Mom. What have you been holding out on me? Well, girl has to have some secrets. All right, well, we'll be back. Let's see what you got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess. 
call me. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well. Good. <laughs> well, thank you for moving out of the way. <laughs> thank you for saving me. <laughs> Push and glide. Push and glide. You got it. Push and glide. <laughs> yeah. You're so This could work. I think Paul and die. We're not so. I'm trying to be poor. Oh, I got you. Get you up. Ugh. Is that your dad over there? Yeah. Okay, why don't you go take a rest for a little bit? Everything, including my pride. <laughs> Are you ready to get out of here? Yes. Uh, I've had enough. <laughs> let's get you. I got you. Let's go check on my mom. Check on my mom. <laughs> let's go check on her. <laughs> Doing all right? <laughs> I wonder where your mom is. Oh, look. Look at her go. I am speechless. She's pretty brave out there. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> Can I get a photo op, Miss Sedwin? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Hard evidence. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> Mom, that was amazing. <laughs> Nothing to it. Right. Oh! <laughs> it is not that fun. Yes, it is. Oh, stop. Oh, you did great. <laughs> wow. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. I'm impressed. <laughs> I've laced up once or twice. Just a bit rusty, that's all. Not too much. So, do you have any big plans for Christmas Eve? Uh, I'm kind of booked up. Ah, Christmas Day? Most of it. There's, uh, there's a lot going on, you know? Well, sure. Me too. I, I was... I was just wondering. But if anything changes, maybe I can give you a call. Yeah, if you want. I mean, you have my number. Okay, great. This was fun. Yeah. Thank you, by the way, for... Oh, no problem. I'll, I'll see you. Thank you. <sighs> you ready? What's wrong, Sarah? Nothing. I just... I just thought he really liked me. Well, he seemed very interested. I know. I... 
I wanted to invite him over for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but said he was too busy. Maybe he's involved with someone else. That's what I was thinking, but he's not acting that way. Men, men are hard to figure out sometimes. I'm sorry, honey. Are you really sorry? Or are you just saying that? I'm really sorry. Oh. Thanks. I guess it would have been tough to get past the fake lemonade and hot dogs anyway. There are worse things in life than fake lemonade and hot dogs. Come on. Let's go home. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, my God. I will give her an A for effort, though. <laughs> you know, when her father died, she felt that she had to grow up like, overnight. No more fun and games. She just became so serious so fast. But... At least she still remembers how to have fun. I thought she had forgotten. What are you two looking at? It's nothing. Mom, how was breakfast? Uh, I swear, Michelle, since I've come here, I am convinced that you're trying to kill me. Mom! Don't say that. I have never eaten so much. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't funny. Well, it was very nice to you. I ate every bit. Good. Okay. Uh, Graham? Graham? What is this about? Sarah, I always regretted your crazy childhood fear of Santa Claus. It, it's always made Christmas such an interesting time. You know, the screaming and the crying. And the fainting and the shaking. That was a long time ago. And the hair pulling and the biting. And the accidents. Enough already, okay? So... I think that after all these years, I am entitled to a nice, glossy photograph of the two of you sitting on Santa's lap. Mom, no. You remember what happened last time? No, I can totally do this. I am an adult, you know. And besides, I've got much better control over those things now. Well, I hope so. Well, good. Now that's all settled. <laughs> Okay, don't you think people will find it strange that two grown women want to have their picture taken on Santa's lap? I mean, it's a little outside their normal business. Sarah, having your picture taken on Santa's lap is their normal business. Besides, it's the day before Christmas. I'm sure they'll be fine with it as long as the check clears. Oh, Michelle! Just the person I wanted to see. I know, Fran. I've been out of touch lately with the holidays and all. I'm sorry. Sarah Edwin, my kids love your books. Why didn't you tell anybody she was coming home? Well, I... Would you mind signing this to my boy, Tommy? Not, of course not, Tommy. Yeah. All right. Tommy, may there always be a mouse in your house. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Well, gotta run. And shame on you, Michelle and Edwin. Keeping your big shot daughter all to yourself. Does that happen often? I don't know. Come on. Let's find Santa and get this over with. Can do this. You girls jiggy for a photo with Big Red? Did you just say jiggy? Rad, right? Ugh, you read my mind. You got style, babe. Thank you. Next. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Come on, young lady. Take a seat on Santa's lap. Come on, it's okay. Come on. Come on over. Take a seat on Santa's lap. Come on. <laughs> you might regret this. And what would you like for Christmas, young lady? Say cheese. Oh. 
Okay, it's done. Merry Christmas, Sam. Merry Christmas to you. Next. Okay, come on. Come on, lady. Come on. Take a load off. What? Get up there, Mom. I can do it. You can do it. Come on, you're holding up the whole line. Come on. There we go. There we go. Sit right here. Say cheese. Cheese. Okay, well, thank you. I know that's wait, good. wait. Now, I did something for you. Perhaps you could do a little something for old Santa Claus. What? For the past five Christmases, your husband has asked only one thing of you, and that is a subscription to Popular Fly Fishing and Outdoor Sports Magazine. Couldn't you get it for him? It's only 20 bucks. How did you know about that? I'm Santa Claus. Hey, I will. I will. Uh, I will. <laughs> Next. Mm-hmm. You both um, look petrified. It was a breeze. It was fun. Good. Thank you. <sighs> Mom, are you all right? Well, I'm kind of tired. Maybe I should just go lie down for a while. Well, here, here, let me help you. I'm so proud of both of you. It's been a perfect Christmas so far. Grand, save your breath. Need to get you to bed. I'm coming, I'm going. We're going, we're going. We got you. <laughs> there you go. All set? All set. Well, I guess we've finally come to the end of your Christmas list. Not quite. Really? Number nine, give unto others. This is the day before Christmas, and we must do something charitable for the children's shelter. They could really use it. Oh, well, that's a snap. I'll write a check. A check? Mom, there's nothing proactive about that. Well, it's always worked before. Not today. We are going to earn it. moving down about 10 feet. I need this space to put my bucket down. You sure 10 feet will be enough? This is for a very worthy cause. Like I'm not a very worthy cause? Oh, for goodness sake. Here. Now please move down about 10 feet. Thank you. Shortest skirt. Children, sir. Ah, oh, come on, give them all. Bless your heart. Help the 
children. Hey, Bob, could you jazz it up a little bit? It's Christmas time. Christmas time. Busy today. I am. I just I forgot a few things. Okay. Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. I'll uh, see you. Delivering all these gifts is going to make us feel so good on the inside. Well, I hope so, because every inch of my outside is killing me. <laughs> oh. oh, there you are. Hello. Ho, ho, ho. Let me give you a hand. Oh, that'd be great. Where do you want these? Here? Right there, please. I couldn't believe it when you guys called out of the blue. It's just a miracle. Children haven't had much to look forward to this year. I just wish there's more we could have done. Well, believe me, it's more than most people. It's hard to imagine there are so many children with nowhere to go at Christmas. Well, it's because these are the older kids. Most people are only interested in the babies. Can we hand these out now? Because we've got a five pound roast in the oven at home and I'm afraid it'll burn. Oh, how nice. Mom. Well, I didn't mean, I, I just meant that it is Christmas Eve. Of course. What's that smell? Uh-oh. Oh, that's the children's dinner. Hot dogs for Christmas Eve dinner? Things have been a little more difficult this year than I care to admit. Ho, ho, ho. All right, the cookies are done. Hot pan coming through. Hey, look who it is. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Hello. Hey, see, I told you I had plans for Christmas. You did, I just didn't realize. Brandon donates so much of his time around here fixing things up and helping us out that he barely has a life of his own. I don't know what we'd do without him. It's nothing, really. Uh, I couldn't have done it without this, though. <clears throat> okay, you see we get all these cookies and presents out of the kids before they start a riot. Dessert before dinner. Oh, come on. If your Christmas Eve dinner was hot dogs and some lemonade, wouldn't you want a cookie first? I would. Christmas 
Thanks for guys getting your presents. There you go. Here you go. Here you go. Ready, And for you. Okay. Okay. What is it here? Oh, it's just me. Who's that? What? I'm sorry, Mrs. Edwin. Katie can't speak or hear. Oh? It's okay. She was born this way. That's why your parents didn't keep her. Oh, dear God. It's all right. She's loved here. What's she saying? She wants to know if there's anything in the bag for her. Oh, you didn't get a present? No. Oh, yes. Yes, there is. You know what? It was so small that it got lost in the bottom of the bag. Here it is. A Christmas ring just for you. Give me your hand. A little piece of yarn and it'll be perfect. Are you sure, Mrs. Edwin? Yes. Katie wants to know, is it hers to keep? Yes, dear. Forever and ever. Tell her. Tell her that this ring will always bring the wearer much happiness. to hear Miss Sarah's story. Me! Could you be convinced? I could, but I think my mom would do a much better job than me. But me? Oh, no! Boat's already in. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. A Mouse in the House for Christmas by Sarah Edwin. Okay, all right. This story begins with a squeak. Mom, you have to hit the word squeak murder. <gasps> the squeak. This story begins with a squeak. <laughs> and is not to be told by the meek. And is not to be told by the me. <laughs> it was the cat's meow that alerted the cow <laughs> and frightened the fish in the creek. <laughs> Who wrote this? She's pretty good. Honeys, I'm home. Just put them on the table. We'll eat in a minute. Huh. Still don't know why I bring them these burgers and fries home. I thought Sarah was going to make a roast. Change the plans, Dad. And I burned the roast. Oh. We'll make it up to you. I promise. I promise. All right. Suddenly, I can't wait to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Now, now, kids, there's no need for all this excessive cheering. Or maybe there is. What the heck? Yeah! Yay! All right. 
right, kids, let's settle down. I think it's time for us to eat. This has been a really exciting time for them. I really didn't know what today was going to be like, but I certainly didn't think it was going to turn out to be like this. Well, I know I said yesterday that I wish we could have done more, but I guess all we had to do was dig a little deeper. I'm so glad we did. Well, what you guys have done has been absolutely amazing. I would have to agree. Here you go. Is my mom signing? Yeah, she is. She's not half bad either. Mom, I didn't know you could sign. Old Mrs. Higgins at the bridge club was deaf, and so I had to learn sign language or I was going to lose a partner. Comes in handy sometimes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I bet your mother's just full of surprises. Oh, she certainly is. What's she saying? Well, she asked Katie if she could tell her a secret, and Katie says, sure. So what's the secret? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. She's my mother. Well, all right. I guess it's not anything that you don't already know. Uh, your mother told Katie that she's going to be leaving soon. She told her? Poor thing. It just breaks my heart. Well, it doesn't sound so bad to me. She said she's going to be selling her condo and moving into a large two-bedroom poolside suite at the country club. Country club? Poolside? It sounds pretty awesome. Awesome. Oh. Tim! Subscription. I got him that subscription. I... Easy, Mrs. Edwin. It, it's Brandon, Dr. Reed. Oh. oh, of course it is. What happened? You fainted, Mom. Dad and Brandon had to bring you in here. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Where's your father? He's helping Miss Courier wrangle the kids. I'll go get him. Do you want to try and sit up? Yes. Thank you. My mom's not dying. I agree. She has a few health concerns, but all her tests were negative. I'd say she's got a few miles left on her. Mm. You sure you're okay? Yes, 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 I'm fine. Okay. Well, I've got a few goodies to go pass out. You really are a remarkable young man, Brandon. All that you do for that shelter. It's really nothing. I grew up there. Honey, are you all right? Mom's not dying. What? She's not dying. She's moving into a poolside suite at the country club. Are you positive? I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the, oh, I could just kill her. <laughs> well, you know, she didn't actually say she was dying. That was our mistake. It's true. But you know, if you really stop to think about it, It was the best Christmas of my entire life. Ho, 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 ho. Let's see what Santa has for you. Oh, here's one for you. Who wants the next one? Oh, let's go with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ho, 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 ho. Miss Katie. Where did you get all these books? I had him stashed in the trunk of my car. And that was very smart of you. Honey, do you have a pen? Uh, 
Oh, kids don't care about that. It's not for the kids. Did everyone get one? One for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Gracias. Now, what do we say to good old Santa Claus? Thank you for your Santa. What? Okay, you guys got me. But I'll have you know that I am a duly authorized agent of the big man in the North Pole himself. No. Yes, I am, and I can prove it. Prove it! Oh, bossy. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. <laughs> what? What's that, Santa? You want them to go outside right now? You want them to go out front right now? Go, 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 go! Come on! <laughs> Very nice. 